Okay, you beautiful passengers, welcome back to the back of the semi truck. And I honestly, I'm gonna be real with y'all, I did not expect to actually watch this episode tonight because I just got done watching three episodes of Camp Camp and I've been sitting here for a while, but for some reason, I feel good and I feel energized, so I say let's go ahead and watch another 20 minute episode of something and that something is going to be Has Been Hotel Season 1 Episode 3. And I don't know how many people actually stick around here at the beginning for the opening monologue and all that good stuff, but if you do, if you've been here long enough, you know that I normally have like a 15 second ad at the beginning of you know, every video, not not a 15 second ad, a 15 second intro. My mind is not here. Maybe I shouldn't be watching this, but you know what? We're going to keep going anyway. But normally I have a 15 second intro at the beginning of every video. The last few videos, I think I've just kind of let it fade in from black to into the video. And I'm feeling like that's a good way of going and saying screw the intro. But at the same time, I'm feeling like maybe if I just cut the intro in half and maybe do like a seven second intro and just jump right into everything, that might work too. I don't know. Feedback from y'all, leave it down in the comments. And I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. And yeah, episode three here. I remember the title, but I don't remember the title, if that makes sense. Don't know if it makes sense or not, but it makes sense in my head. Um, but yeah, Has Been Hotel, Season 1, Episode 3. I say, I should just go ahead, shut up, and we can jump into this episode. Um, it looks like the resident that we just got, I can't remember his name, he's carrying something on his back, so yeah, 3, 2, 1, and play. Perfect. Happy first week, I'm Sir so Pentius. Okay. Staying at the hotel. Cool. Um, it's only been one week. Just trying to take over the city with his weird steampunk engine. The skin player, 11,000. Okay, it's got to be Dan Popovich. Because, come on, this has got to be like the demon version of what's his face from Phineas and Ferb. They are planning to kill me, but they want you to feel welcome. Yeah. Well. Except for all them. <laughs> hey, you gotta be careful with her. I have my doubts. Well, it's true. You have to trust us. But I don't. Well, why don't we focus on that for today's activities? Mm, not before we lay some ground rules. No more building weapons. No more plotting against other guests. And you need to get rid of these things. <laughs> oh, what did I just say? What did I just say? What? Not my little egg boys. They do my evil bidding. Boy. Okay, then they need to be rehabbed as well. Then. Yes. Then no more eggs. I don't two. Humanely. Hmm. Well, that's a lot. How do you got a dag on say humanely? I my outing today. Great. That looks disgusting. Hi guys. How to put on some show for these fucking chumps? Oh, I will. But. Why not you will? And I know that one can't afford me. Gross. Sure, I can handle this, no problem. But there's only like one person oh, I feel like she trusts. And that's Charlie. So, I don't know if Veggie here is the right person for this exercise. Alright, get on up here. To suck? I swear to fuck if you say dicks. Popsicles, you sicko. <laughs> yeah, where is your mind? Get it out of the gutter. What do you got to say, Nifty? I kill mother bugs in front of their children as a warning to others. I like Nifty. I don't care. <laughs> ah, let's keep jumping. Feel the pain, Nifty. Maybe stay here and guard the front until I return. There was five of those, wasn't there? Oh, look. Frank is up there. Yep. I was right. So, yes, I know. We got a hierarchy here. I'm sure you've all been wondering. In the political systems of hell. But welcome back in any case. This year's extermination. On the subject of 
discussion. <laughs> oh, tasty. Where did you get this? Or with such meager proof, thou art far more foolish than I be thought. Meager proof? Not it's sure who this guy is, is quite yet. I'd say that's pretty fucking definitive. But I like him. Blind, old man. We know not how this perished. Perhaps. You better show some respect. Check and I'm a little late no one's realizing that we have a song, but holy crap, we got a song. You Dang. I will say... That was a productive meeting. <laughs> I like I you, Alistair. To the nursing home, fuckers. There's more trust than BDSM, baby. Angel, love the enthusiasm. I ain't but, saying it. Um, He's got a point. What makes you think anyone would be into this? Where's Nifty? Oh, so it's going to be you, huh? There's Nifty. Bad boys. It is one way of learning how to trust people. Because today you become It just takes time. Time we don't have. How many Oh my gosh, Nifty. get their shit together. Made it. Hey, y'all survived. I just walked up all those stairs. Who's the angel? Was it you? I always thought then all of hell would rise to war. Oh man. If anyone knew that one angel could be killed, hell would rise up. Holy crap. I do wonder if the voice actors and actresses actually do the singing voices as well. Because this is actually some really good stuff. And I want to know what happened to Vaggie's eyes. Hopefully I got her name correct. So our little egg minions are not going to go anywhere no time soon. I'm sorry I got so crazy today. Shit out of you! So it did work. They're already reminiscing about their little battle. I like that part. <laughs> of course you do. Yeah. No, don't give them back the pinches. Seriously, no more. But the little egg things work well with Alistair. And the knife lady killed an egg. No! Oh my gosh, you stupid little egg. Thankfully, he's not very smart to pay attention to what you're saying. So, thank goodness. Oh my goodness. Yes. Ah, oh, and yes. There are quite a bit of names within this series that I should be pointing out now that I've read through all the comments from the first episode and replied to what I could and all that stuff because first and foremost we've got Keith David in here that's our Goliath from Gargoyles we've also got oh my gosh we've got we've got quite a bit of voices in here that would surprise you and I believe Izzy from My Little Pony, Generation 5, um, the movie, voices someone in here as well. Uh, I'm trying to think of who it is. I don't think it's, um, I think, I, oh wait, no, I think it's actually, what's her face? Oh, the one that's crazy and that I like. I think that's Izzy. Um... And then I think Vaggie is Maribel. Oh, I, I mean, holy crap! Y'all gave me a lot of names that are in there in the mix here that would really make you think about 
the characters that they played previously before this that are like, oh, crap, that makes me think of that character in a whole new light. So, yeah, we've got, I think, what's-her-face, the crazy little impish creature is Kamiko Glenn. I know I butchered the name, but I think that's her, the one who does Izzy from My Little Pony, A New Generation movie. She doesn't do her voice in the actual series, but the movie. So, yeah, there is a lot of voice talent here. And I want to actually go ha take the time to go through these voices. Because that new character that we just had, it feels like I know his voice as well. And I'm not... I, holy crap. This show is crazy good. Not, you know, crazy good in the sense that... I'm so surprised. I'm not really that surprised. There's some shows that I just haven't given a shot because of various aspects to it and stuff like that. But crazy good in the sense that this is well and look if I can get the words out of my mouth. This is well animated. This is really great songs. And holy crap, the songs. It just it does such a good job of making you feel for these little devils. <laughs> um, well, not necessarily devils. I mean, there is some lore to this show. And I know I definitely, I've got to start thinking about getting it in my head to, you know, start thinking, okay, when, are, when am I going to be able to start watching Hell of a Boss and stuff like that. So I know that's quite a bit of a different show than what we're getting here, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like that one's going to be a little bit different and a little bit more on the raunchy side. I, I, I don't know exactly. I, I'm really speaking out of ignorance on that, but I'm told it tries to go a little bit beyond this show in terms of edginess. I don't know. Um, but yeah, the songs in this show are really great. That was one heck of a duet between the two of them. And I was really surprised by that one song by one of the V's. And I feel like she won that interaction because she had a better half to that song. And I'm really surprised as well that they gave such a musical number to that the, well, one of the new characters that we've been introduced to. So I'm presuming that she's a pretty big name when it comes to singing because she had two songs pretty much in this episode. So, yeah, really good episode. Um, it, We had some team building exercise. So, you know, the little B plot of trusting and stuff like that is really, you know, bringing the group together. And I don't feel like we got you know, too, too much information. We did find out who killed the angel. That was a very key aspect of, you know, finding something out. So that's a very big plot point. Um, as far as anything else, I, I'm still wondering what Alistair's end game is. I don't know fully what's going on with him, but I'm sure here soon I'm going to get that episode and all that good stuff. So, yeah, that's definitely coming. I just don't know quite when. Um, yeah, and definitely interesting what she said when she's like, you know, if they found out that, you know, these angels could be killed, all of hell would rise up. So, that's going to be interesting once the news gets out, whether that's going to be the next episode or... I don't know, I'm going to presume around episode 6 is when things are really going to really hit the fan, because I feel like episode 4 would be too soon, but episode 6 would kind of be that sweet point of, this is where we need to hit it. I don't know, I'm just speculating on that. So, yeah. Other than that, I, that jumbled mess of an afterthoughts is pretty much all I've got as my afterthoughts. So, with that said, I'm going to shut up, going to pass it off to y'all, and let y'all tell me what your afterthoughts are after you've seen this episode down in the comments below. So, y'all know the drill by now if you've been here. Hit that like, tickle to subscribe, don't be texting and driving, and as 
Mr. Rogers always says. And I like you as you are. I do.